yesterday I was perusing a website called The Second Veil. Veil spelled V-A-I-L. Um, on one search I wasn't able to come up with it. But I went to DuckDuckGo and I found it on that right away. <coughs> And it's a woman who is um, hosting this site, moderating it, authoring all of the articles. Unfortunately, you cannot make comments. There is no email address so that you can correspond with her. Maybe she doesn't want that. I don't know. <clears throat> she writes in one article, I believe it was the November of... 2021 article. There's two articles, I think, under that heading in that month. And she's saying the reason for abortion is to get to the stem cells. And she makes an interesting ob observation that the term molecule is actually two words, molec and yule. Y-U-L-E, as in Yule Tide, which I found really interesting. <clears throat> and of course she goes on to say it's not about women's rights, it's not about my body, my choice, or personal autonomy. It is about getting to these stem cells of these infants who they are telling you are just fetuses. You see, they're even hiding the true identity of a so-called fetus a so-called fetus is a boy or a girl and part of mankind in this case. <clears throat> but of course, since everything is going non-binary, I think that's what they call it, it's, it's a sin nowadays and a, and a transgression and a criminal act to call a boy a boy and a girl a girl. <clears throat> But it was very interesting, her idea about this this molecule I thought was very interesting. And also she said that it's all about getting at the stem cells. Which of course we know, we know this, but she actually put it in writing and, and laid it all out. And it, that got me to thinking, and this is the point of this video. I was, I really am tending to want to correlate the harvesting of the stem cells through aborted babies to building the construction of destruction. <clears throat> Ever since the kickoff of Corona, they've been building here like crazy in Disturbia. You can see here on the sides of the road, they're building and doing this and doing that and where I live also. <clears throat> There's quite a bit of construction going on. And you notice that when they do in these construction sites, you notice heaps and piles of soil. And at first they heap and, and pile up the soil and it's brown. It's especially where I live, they grow asparagus there and it's a very, very rich soil. rich and that it brings forth a wealth of life and it didn't take long you saw the heaps of piles of soil that green plants started just burgeoning right out of the soil and normally we don't think too much about it but recently I've been wondering about that you know why are they really building? Or maybe they're killing two birds with one stone. Maybe it has to do, look at the sky. On the one hand, oh yeah, they want heat now again. Look at the sky. They want heat every day, but anyhow. <clears throat> on the one hand, they're building and they're creating heat. They're desecrating the land. But what are they doing with the soil? And yesterday, while reading this article about harvesting the stem cells from aborted babies, I thought maybe they put the two together. Maybe there is some correlation between 
the harvested seeds and cells and the soil that they're digging up and all the laboratories that are being built here in Disturbia and all around the world. They're calling them logistic centers, but you, all you see is a big fence around them, barbed wire, and you're not <clears throat> seeing very many trucks or anything. What are they doing in these laboratories? What are they doing in these logistic centers, really? And I was wondering if maybe they were mixing the soil with the seed. We get this in Jeremiah, I believe it's Jeremiah 30, and uh, mixing in the, in the last days, the seed of men will be mixed with the, seed, with, the, with the seed of animals. And I'm wondering if they're not using the soil also. It, it, it correlates for me with this movie called The Lord of the Rings. I did a video about this on my old defunct channel that was deleted overnight and I believe it was 2020. It might have been 2021, I don't know. Maybe it was 2021. Anyway, at any rate, it was I called it dot .org and it's about these orgs that are underground. I do believe that they were made of slime and clay, which also goes back to the Bible. So I just I really that's all I wanted to say here, um, nasty things are going on, lawlessness prevails here in Disturbia. Don't let them tell you that the wrath of God is not impending. Don't let them tell you that it's already taken place, that there is no last days. If you look at what's going on and what has been going on, this retreat to AI, which was destroyed in the flood thousands of years ago. <clears throat> there's nothing new under the sun and in fact I do not even believe that the this Tower of Babel that's being built up is new and improved I believe it's just a facsimile the old one it's dilapidated it's already corrupted it's already falling apart and anyhow I thank you for listening um, men's hearts are going to fail them for fear we know this. Why is that? Are these orgs going to be coming up? When, you know, we don't know. We just know that according to Daniel, <clears throat> that the believers in Messiah are going to do exploits and they're going to be, they're going to be annihilated. They're going to be stamped on by Metatron and all of these other fallen angels that are coming, disguised as angels of light. So please repent, believe the truth. That's the only way. We're not going to be magically taken up in some sort of a rapture. That's all wishful thinking, and it's diabolical.